parish from the sports department. Uh, I'm just here to give you my, some ideas about how to liven up your cycling, whether it's indoor or on a turbo trainer like this, or an indoor cycle, or out on the road. So what I'm going to do is just go through a number of things that can help you um, improve things, things a little bit more challenge. First of all, on the safety side of things, make sure you wear a helmet out on the road. Always carry a repair kit with you on the pump and make sure you know how to use it. Start with, you need a warm up. I suggest something like five to 10 minutes. Easy pedaling, easy cycling, just to get into things. After that, increase your cadence, that's your leg speed in revolutions per minute. If you can't measure your leg speed on a device that you might have. Um, I've got one, but uh, many people might not. Then we're just looking at increasing your leg speed. If you can manage it from something quite slow, increasing it gradually. An easy way of doing this is by increasing by about every minute. So spend a minute to say 60 revs. I'm just slow myself down to about 60. There we go. And then spend a minute of that. After a minute of that, increase to 70. So I'm just going up to 70. You can't increase uh, if you can't change it up by measuring it, then just try and get your legs working a little bit quicker. Then spend a minute of each one. That's 70. Now I'm going up to 80. Mighty. And then from 90, spend a minute here. Then go back down to 80. And then 70. And that back to where I was to start with, that's 60. Obviously, when you're doing this, have a nice easy gear so you can spin your legs over nice and steadily. Might be easier to do this on an indoor rather than outdoor. Now, if you are out on the road, uh, some things you could do to make things a bit more challenging. If you are, uh, for example, um, on a route that you've got some hills in, make some efforts up the hills. If they're sort of 30 to 60 seconds long, maybe, definitely not more than that. Um, try and make an effort up them. Then take it easy afterwards. If it's flat, what you can do is increase your gearing to make it harder for yourself. About 30 seconds again. Then after you've done that, just take it easy until you're ready to do it again. Vary the number of efforts that you do. Now, some other ideas for a road or an indoor trainer. One reason is to have two minute blocks of training where you're splitting it into a hard part and an easy section. The hard bit will be very short, but the easy bit quite long. So in terms of that, we can do 10 or 15 seconds hard and then spend the rest of the two minutes going very easy. So for example on this, I put my gears up so it's quite heavy. Then if I can time myself, I'll increase my cadence, my revs up. So I'm going quite fast for 10 seconds. And then take it easy. Not big gearing down. The rest of the two minute period. And just take it very, very easy. Now, once I've finished that two minutes, I'll repeat it. I've just made it up five times. You could do that same with one minute blocks. Perhaps using 30 seconds, quite hard. 30 seconds easy. Maybe do three of those. That sort of varies things a bit. Gets you working a bit harder than you might normally.
Another idea you can do indoors or outdoors is having two minutes, very easy, two minutes a bit harder, then do one minute, it's quite hard. Then go back to your easy and repeat that. So it's about what is five minutes of a build up from easy to hard, then repeat it. That will give you a five minute blocks. And you can repeat those as many times as you want. I probably wouldn't suggest more than four, perhaps five times. Of. Now, one other thought with something called a pyramid style session. This one can be quite hard, definitely can be very hard. This is where we're looking at building up from something quite hard to easy and then if you need to, you can go back to hard again. Here we're looking at one minute blocks. First one, 50 seconds hard. 10 seconds easy, so it's a very short break. Then we do 40 seconds hard, 20 seconds easy. 30 seconds hard, 30 easy. 20 seconds hard, 40 easy. 10 seconds hard, 50 easy. After that, have a recovery. Nice, easy, two, three minutes. If you're able, do it again. Possibly up to three repetitions of that whole block. That'd be a good session. Um, towards the end of your what you're, you're planning on doing, just take it easy, lighten the gearing, slow things down, and then you're able to stop down the road, finish off fairly easily. And when you get back home, and that would be an excellent session. Happy cycling.